Hello, College One students. This is your Professor Salcedo here, and I am recording this very brief instructional video on the article you have been assigned to read, which is Whose Culture Has Capital? A Critical Race Theory Discussion of Community Cultural Wealth. And we're going to pay particular attention to Yosu's Community Cultural Wealth Model. So what is the objective? The objective is to help you identify your capital, which leads to the question, what is a capital? A capital refers to an asset or a strength. So the objective is to help you identify your capitals, identify your skills, and then figure out how to apply those skills to your college environment. Brief overview of what you will read. As you noted under the instructions, you're not supposed to read the entire article. You're only gonna read certain parts. You're going to read the abstract and the introduction. And those are very important because they give you a very good idea of what the article is about and what you're about to read. And actually from a research perspective, the abstract and the introduction can help you determine whether that particular article fits what you're looking for. So it's good to get in the habit of always reading those. In the introduction, you're going to be introduced to Pierre Bourdieu. And Pierre Bourdieu coined the term cultural capital. You're also going to learn about critical race theory, which briefly, critical race theory helps us examine how laws and systems support uh, inequality for traditionally marginalized groups. So what the author did, Tara Yoso, is she, via a CRT lens, she challenges Bourdieu's cultural capital because it turned out to be not as inclusive, especially for our students of color. And instead, she offers, offers an alternative concept, which you guessed right, is community cultural wealth model. So in community cultural wealth model, Yoso talks about six capitals and she explains each and every one of them. The six capitals are aspirational, linguistic, familial, social, navigational, and resistance. She explains each and every one of them. We're not gonna talk about all of them because it will be too much, but we are going to talk about one, which is linguistic capital. This capital uh, resonates with me personally. That's why I want to talk about this one in this video. According to Yoso, linguistic capital refers to the various languages and communication skills students bring with them <clears throat> to the college environment. The role of storytelling is discussed here, especially for our students of color, because perhaps storytelling is prominent in our families or even our cultures, right? For sure it was for me and it still is. In my personal experience, storytelling was and still is very prominent. Um, my grandfather would tell my family and I many stories about his childhood, his siblings and him being the older sibling and the only male, and his parents as well, the poverty they were living in, and his migration story to the United States to be able to help his family. As we hear these stories from the storyteller, we are developing skills. For instance, we may be memorizing these stories. We also know the changes in tone, rhythm, and pauses. So we bring these skills that we learned prior to college, we bring those skills to our college environment as soon as we enter college. And once we figured out these skills that we already possess, they can be used as a solid foundation for academic success. They can be applicable to your classes. This is what Tara Yoso discusses in this article. And the same goes for all the capitals. I hope this video was very helpful uh, for this article. If you have any questions though, please feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching.